Al Cohen uh, from, uh, from Capstone here and kind of representing one of the organizations that's going out there and actually helping people to mobilize their homes, among other things. So, yeah. <coughs> the, the community action agencies are, are really pleased to be part of this plan. Uh, it's very important to us that attacks on pollution, that it be equitable and fair, and that the low-income community can also participate. You know, global warming impacts all of us, but it hits low-income Vermonters the hardest. In Tropical Storm, Irene destroyed single-family homes and mobile home parks. It was the elderly and disabled on fixed incomes. It was families with small children who were most devastated. They lacked insurance. They didn't have emergency savings. And and they didn't have the resources to repair their homes or to relocate. And to this day, some of them have yet to be uh, in, in homes or, or have yet to recover from tropical storm Irene. Low-income low Vermonters are also most impacted by dependence on fossil fuels, which have doubled in price in the last 10 years. It's ironic that low-income families, they pay the highest amount for heating fuel. And the reason they pay that high amount is because they don't have the resources to pre-buy. They don't have the credit to pre-buy. They're not able to afford even to go on a budget plan. So they always pay the highest prices. They also live in some of our oldest homes, homes that are less energy efficient, homes that are leaky and cold. And when you don't have the resources to stay warm, you're at high risk of stroke, of heart attack, of pneumonia, of asthma, of depression. Low-income Vermonters also drive some of the oldest vehicles, clunkers, cars that are gas customers, that, that are expensive to operate and to repair. And low-income families, they are the last to benefit from new technologies. The last, you know, you're not going to see low-income Vermonters right now in electric vehicles or benefiting from solar power or from home uh, energy retrofits. Low-income families are energy poor, and their dependence on fossil fuels puts them at great risk. It's time to act. This plan will lessen our dependence on fossil fuels, it will save Vermonters money, and it will protect vulnerable Vermonters from climate catastrophe and move us towards more energy independence. Thanks.